Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and cast time once again, and then, um, um, let me kind of preface this by saying, um, this, I think, is either going to be a really short cast, I'll, I'll kind of explain more as the cast goes on, or it's going to be a really super long one, but I don't think there's going to be any middle ground with this, so, but anyway, um, um, this, and this time around in the background, I think I actually got it right this time, um, for those that don't know, on my previous cast that I did, like, last, uh, Wednesday or Thursday, um, it was, I think, uh, the background, what I had in the background was basically traveling in a tourist trap, you know, lots of people, and what, and the, the scenery was actually too scenic to a point where it was distracting, in fact, um, I even put that in my last cast video, distracted, it was my distracted cast video, so, this time around, though, I think I got it right. Um, all this is going to be is just some relaxing kayaking on a river cell. Um, which, two big things on this. One, I don't think, um, I don't think I've ever done a cast video that involved this. Usually the, uh, the nature-based stuff that I do is either, uh, walking along a trail or, um, or the, uh, more urban stuff. You know, like just a, a car drive around... Minneapolis or Duluth or whatever. But, excuse me. But no, this time around, uh, he's kayaking. And then secondly, as as it probably shows, as it, as it probably shows here, um, this is, uh, this is uh, done in the Ukraine. And it was actually done about seven or eight months ago when uh, I believe Russia was currently invading him at the time. So, right, so pretty brave of him to go on a kayak right while, uh, while the Ukraine was being bombarded by Russia, but I'm most, but I'm I'm also assuming that uh that he's not doing this at clear at the opposite side of the country, away from all the fighting or something. So, but anyway, um, it's gonna be messy here at first. I gotta I gotta skip through a bunch of uh, like and subscribe stuff. Hopefully, I got it right. Oh, and uh, as is probably obvious, um, there's no visuals, no flashcards or anything. It's just going to be straight up talking. So, to start with, um, no stream today. Um, I ended up oversleeping, like, big time. Like, like, uh, no, like I really, really overslept. Usually, um, usually on days like this, Okay, now I hope he's not going to do this every minute. Anyway, um, usually whenever I oversleep, it's usually, usually rolling out of bed like 3, 3.30 p.m., you know, like, like a half hour, 45 minutes late on my stream, okay? And then just, you know, just go out, look at the clock, and hope oh, ain't going to happen today. Uh, no, this time around, um, I think, uh, my alarm went off around 1.30 and, okay, so woke up, just shut it off. Um, my second alarm went off. Beep, beep, beep. Poof, shut it off. Uh, come on, time to stream. Plop. Laid back down, and you know, and some at some point later, I looked up, and it's like, oh, 4 p.m. Fuck. You know, like I really overslept. So, so yeah. Again, needless to say, there was no stream today. So, so yeah um but otherwise um otherwise for the most part though today it was pretty much a lazy day afterwards so even if I even if I actually was able to stream today it was probably just gonna be idle games because I was, for the most part, dead as a doornail. I mean, even as I rolled out of bed at 4 p.m., I was not in the mood to do anything, so... It must have been one hell of a work week. I mean, I was only at work for two days this week. And it was just uh, from 10 p.m. to 7 p.m., so... I mean, it wasn't my default 8 p.m., so... Basically, um... Uh, just... 
just a 16 hour a 16 hour work week but yet but yet today I ended up feeling like total shit it's like okay uh, but like I, like I said it was pretty much a lazy day today um I think I played maybe maybe um Melbourne Idol just checked on my stuff and then just shut her down after that um but otherwise just lazed and slobbed around so yeah it and for what it's worth I really hate days like this where you just you're very unproductive you just I just don't want to do anything at all Something else I was wanting to say about that. I can't remember what, though. Oh, well, I'll just... I'll just move along. Um, One thing that um definitely did happen... And, um... This is gonna be uh, kind of poor timing on my part. I'll kind of explain later, but, uh... I think, um... There's gonna be a change in my diet. Like, um... I'm gonna... I'm... My, uh... As far as junk food goes, what I prefer to eat is uh, mint chocolate chip ice cream and peanut butter M&Ms. Um, I'm going to try phasing them out and then uh, go back to eating grapes again. And uh, just, I just, I, I think, uh, uh, just recently, I usually uh, I have maybe a little bit of ice cream. And a little bit of M&M's, like I said. I, usually, I keep the junk food to a fair minimum. Uh, recently, I've been freaking gorging on them. So, yeah, when it when it's getting that bad, um, I I've got to phase them out. But I kind of a I kind of came across a bit of luck here. Normally at work, I have great I eat grapes, eat grapes at work. But uh, the problem is, is uh, a lot of times it's a gamble. Like, I, sometimes I'll buy, uh, I'll buy, you know, I mean, they're, the grapes I get are seedless. At least that's what it says on the package. But yeah, I'll, I'll bite into them and, <laughs> you know, spitting them, you know, spitting seeds out. So it's like a good waste of five bucks, and that's the other problem, too. They're expensive as hell. So... At least by my reasoning, if I'm going to sit here and just binge and gorge on junk food, I'd at least like to do it on stuff that's more nutritious. Now, I, and in, in case I didn't say so, um, I love me some grapes. I'm one of those I could probably sit down and eat at least half a bag of them, like in one sitting. So, so like I said, if I'm going to sit here and binge and gorge on junk food, you know, I at least want it to be on something more nutritious. You know, but like, but like, you know, but like I said, it a lot of times buying grapes is too much of a gamble. So, but, like, you know, but uh, recently, I've um, I've come across some good luck. Like the grapes I've been buying at work are actually are actually pretty good. Like they actually are seedless. And that's the other thing too is uh, sometimes I'll. I'll buy grapes that are, you know, like the whole, the whole, the whole bottom of the bag is like rotting and stuff, mold starting to grow. Now, usually at work when I buy them, I don't have time to check over every single bag to make sure that they're all, they're all clean and good. Cause you know, I'm, usually I get to work at basically the last minute. So I don't have, to, I don't have time to be, I don't have, I don't have time to be picky. So yeah, I got to so I just, I just grab a bag and go. So, and sometimes it's come around to bite me on the end at, you know, when I, when I go on my break or, or yeah, when I go on my break and open the bag and look at the bottom, it's like, they're like all fucking moldy. Whoops. So, but like I said, this time around, been having some good luck. You know, just, the grapes are good, clean and seedless. So, Based on that, 
once again, what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, just kind of a kind of a little recap. Um, just phasing out the ice cream and phasing out the M and M's and going back to eating grapes instead. Now, earlier I said about kind of poorly timed because I decided to do this like like a few days after I had bought M and M's and ice cream. So I got like at least half a gallon of ice cream sitting in my freezer right now. I've got almost a full bag of M&Ms sitting, sitting in my kitchen. So kind of a bad time for the decision, but it's too late now. So, and I'm not a, I don't, I don't like throwing away food. So it just, you know, and plus uh, ice cream's expensive. I mean, at least around my neck in the woods, you're having to pay almost ten dollars for a for a full gallon. You know, a big old big old gallon tub. You know, it's like ten bucks right there. Um, the bag of M and M's that I get, that's also about ten bucks right there. So that's gonna be like a that's gonna be like a twenty dollar write off. I'm just gonna go throw them away. Cause really. I, due to the nature, due to the way, at least the way my addiction works, if it's in, if it's in my apartment, I'm eating it. And I can't, I can't abstain, you know, I can't, how can I put this? I can't not eat them if they're in my apartment. So I don't, and I don't do quote unquote willpower because that, that don't, that don't really work with me. So my only option is to actually chuck them. But once again, I between the two of those items, I paid about 20 bucks. Again, that's like a $20, $20 write-off right there if I chuck them. So, I'm gonna, make a, I'm gonna have to make a tough decision here. Um, and then, um, one other thing I kind of did is, um, is I think I, I just went on the, the D&D &D Beyond, or Dungeons and Dragons Beyond, um, just started, um, tootling around in there, and, um, they actually have a, I wish I'd have known about this sooner, when I created my Mercy Monk character, is, uh, they have, actually have a section called Homebrew, like, um, like this is all, it's all custom stuff, uh, custom characters, custom monsters. These are like uh, you know, abilities, classes, races, all of them. Like they're like totally made from scratch. You know they weren't pre-designed by the Dungeons and Dragons company or or Wizards of the Coast. So, oh damn! Stuff sun starting to come out. Yeah. But anyway, um so I've been um uh, I've been going through this part of the website. Now, one of the best things about this is uh it's actually free. Cuz um when uh when creating my monk character or any of my other characters for that matter, it on what or this is going to to explain this, it's gonna, it's gonna be very uh, convoluted. But um, on one end, I, 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 I wanna, I wanna do my part to support D and D Beyond because I really like this website, so I don't mind shelling out the extra money. Um, but um, in order to, in order to put a, how can I put this? In order to put a, a class, a certain class. Or a certain a certain ability, um, a certain you know, so on and so forth. Um, you have to be able to you have to be able to access it on the website. Now, you have you can um you can go on there for like there's like a basic set of like classes and you know classes and feats and, and all that. There's a a basic core set that you can access for free, but 
if there's uh, certain skills and abilities and whatnot that uh, you also want to add to your character sheet that you want to put on your character, um, you can either you either have to a buy the whole into, buy the book, excuse me, buy the online book that it's based on, or as an alternative, you can just buy that particular spell or ability, etc. Just that little piecemeal, and you got to pay like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine or something like that just for that, just to be able to put that little spell on your character sheet. Which again, that I don't mind paying. Again, to me, D and D Beyond's a good website, and that's one of the reasons why I like it because you can do that. Like if I just want one single ability to put on a character, I could just simply buy that one little ability. I don't have to buy the whole entire book. So, good on them for doing that. So, anyway. But, uh, one upside to the, uh, the homebrew category is you can add any of those, anything in there from classes to spells, etc. for free. At no cost. And, um, a good chunk of the stuff they have in, the, in that homebrew in that homebrew category are basically repeats of what you can find in a in the normal Dungeons and Dragons books. So I could have so if I'd have known about homebrew a lot sooner, I could have saved myself a lot of money. But I, on the other hand, too, like I said earlier, I don't mind supporting the website because I like it. It's a good it's a good website. You know they do it right. So. But anyway, um, I don't, I don't know if anybody's checked out one of my earlier videos about me creating my monk on this uh, D and D Beyond website. But there's gonna, but now after discovering after discovering this area, um, there's probably gonna be a change to this monk now. So I might be be on the lookout for another video. Of me making some tweaks and alterations to this guy because like I said there's a lot of stuff in this uh, homebrew category there's a lot of custom stuff that would actually be a fit a better fit for my character um, that would be more suited to the vision that I have for this character and then um something else I found out about this website um, you could even um I don't I haven't delved into it but you could customize this sucker even further so you can, I could even, you know, I could even make a whole, a whole brand new customized, I, or I could even customize the, uh, all the components of the game even further. But again, I haven't, I haven't delved too heavily into it. So I could make, in effect, a 100% homebrew character. Like, I don't even have to use, I don't even have to use anything. From the uh, from the base uh, Dungeons and Dragons books, you know, Player's Handbook, Dungeon Master's Guide, Monster Manual, etc. Theoretically, I don't have to use anything out of those books. I could just go straight to Homebrew and pretty much get everything I need off of there, all of it for free. So, but yeah, only I knew that what I know now. Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Hold on. But yeah, looks like I picked the right video. Um and and also I actually subscribed to this channel. I completely forgot about it. All this time that I've been using their videos and I've never subbed to them. Um Pro Art Inc. I think the name of the channel, like, 4K Explorations or something like that. I don't remember the name, but, like, man, I'll, like, yeah, uh, I totally slipped my mind. I forgot to subscribe to these guys. Seems the least I can do after using a bunch of their videos. And best of all, with, um, uh, with only a maybe one exception that I can think of. Um, I haven't gotten any takedown notices on all the others. So. 
yeah, like that, that, yeah, that last, ca last, excuse me, that last cast video I did, that was a mistake. Yeah, it was hard to stay focused on talking when I'm sitting here checking out all this scenery. I mean, because, and this here is exactly what I'm looking for. Just perfect background, great to watch, but not, not too distracting. You know, I could actually focus more on talking than actually, you know, checking out all the scenery and stuff. So, but otherwise, um, I think that's going to do it for me, everybody. Um, I believe I've said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. Hopefully, I would have done more things tomorrow. And I just... I mean, despite all the stuff that I talked about, um, I, I had pretty much just sat on my ass the whole day. So, yeah. So, aside from those two things, I basically loafed around, loafed around and did nothing. So, good waste of time. But, but otherwise, otherwise, I'm kind of getting off subject here. So, but they, once again, thanks for tuning in and listening to me. I appreciate that. And, um, and my train of thought just got derailed, so I'll just go ahead and kill it here. Kill it here. Um, thanks for dropping by, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye for now.